In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the serpentine belt tensioner on this Nissan Pathfinder. Let's get started. Use a 21 millimeter socket and remove all five of your lug nuts so we can remove the wheel. Let's remove four push clips to get this splash shield out of the way so we can gain access to everything. There are two that sit right here on the uh, frame of the vehicle. Using a combination of some trim tools to get these pried out of here. There we go. These right here are different. You're gonna have to pop out the center. These are often stuck from sand buildup. Looks like this one broke, so I'm gonna have to install a new one. That happens often too. There we go, that one broke too. So two new ones, but the shield is off. Now we have to take the belt off. You can use a 3 8 drive tool, breaker bar, ratchet, serpentine belt tool, whatever you have, and turn this counterclockwise. Once you spin the tensioner counterclockwise, you should be able to pull the belt off of something, whatever pulley you can reach first. I'm gonna try and get it off of the harmonic balancer because if I take it off the tensioner, I can't really put it anywhere. My ratchet's in the way. There we go. Now you can release this. Get this out of here. You don't have to remove the belt, of course. You can just kind of set it aside here, but uh, obviously this one fell off. So I'm just gonna show you at the end how to put it back on. I might as well get it out of my way at this point. Get a 13 millimeter tool in here, wrench or socket, a wrench will fit better, and break this bolt free. There are two, one on this side and one on the other side of this tensioner. Remove this. The other 13 millimeter bolt is to the right. You can see it right here. It's very difficult to show once my hands are in there, but uh, get a wrench up there and you should be able to get it out. You have just enough room for a wrench on this one. Oh, as you can see, the tensioner wants to pivot now. Okay, there we go. Now the bolt will stay with the tensioner. Slide this out this way. Here's the second bolt and there's the old tensioner. The new tensioner will have this pin in it. This is so that you can uh, put the belt on easily. So that's what that's for. I'm gonna leave this in for later. I'm gonna put the second or the right hand bolt in there so it can be ready to be threaded in once this all lines up. Bring it in the same way that it came out not going to be easy to find the spot, but uh, once the bolt falls into place, be ready to thread it on so it can kind of stay in place there. Just like this. All right, this is starting nicely. Make sure it's nice and smooth because if it's cross-threading, well, then you'll have a problem. Not that you can really cross-thread it by hand. It would be difficult. But now that that's most of the way in, let's get this outer bolt on or the, the left hand bolt on and I don't want to tighten either of them until they're both started and most of the way bottomed out. Okay, let's get this one tightened up. Okay, this one's snugged up. Let's move back over to the other one and try to tighten that one as well. All right, this one's snug. There's no way I can get a torque wrench in there. So I'm gonna make this one nice and snug. There we go, just like that. Now let's tighten this outer one. I can't get a torque wrench on this one either. The torque for both of these is 18 foot pounds, which just means nice and tight with a small ratchet or wrench. So I gave them about an eighth, between an eighth and a quarter of a turn after they bottomed out. So that should be plenty tight at this point. Let's get the belt on. Now let's get the belt back on. Here's a diagram on the screen of the routing of the belt if you took it off, which a lot of times it does fall off doing this kind of work. So 
get it back onto the alternator at the top. I'm gonna go down underneath the belt tensioner. And this is where that pin comes in handy because it's holding the tensioner untensioned in the uh, release position. Make sure it falls onto all the ribs properly on all the pulleys, of course, other than the belt tensioner, which is not ribbed. AC compressor, there we go. And it looks like I need just a little bit more slack out of this belt to get it over the harmonic balancer, so that's fine. We would have to put a tool on this anyway, so I'll just do it now. Get your 3 8 drive tool on the tensioner and pull counterclockwise. That releases it more. You can do two things now. One, slip the belt over, make sure it's seated, and while releasing tension, remove the pin. Oh, there we go, the pin fell. Here it is. We can release tension. Before you take your ratchet away, feel the belt to make sure that it's on all the grooves of the pulleys, which it is, it's perfect. You definitely wanna make sure you double check that because if it's not, well, you're gonna have some serious issues once you turn on the engine. Remove your tool and let's get the shield back on. Let's get the shield lined up. I have the two push clips that I can reuse. They did not break here at the top. There's one and the other. A lot of times these do break, so make sure you have some extra ones on hand. There's one and second one. There we go, let's put the wheel on. Let's get the wheel back on. Put all five of your lug nuts on, starting by hand. And then in a cross pattern, you're gonna to wanna to torque this to 83 foot pounds. Once again, 83 foot pounds in a cross pattern. Double check them. Take it for a road test. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.